Hello again, EDF friends. On this video, I want to talk about Mission 98, Inferno, with uh, Inferno for two uh, Rangers with limits on. Um, as far as weapons go, I chose to take the D110 shotgun and the healing bomb, and he took the easy shotgun and the uh, stringer sniper. And uh, the reason we're doing that is for the end phase. That's really the only tricky part, as long as you know where the traps are in this mission. So. Um, I originally thought to take C-70 bombs for the, the end part, but uh, the, the the shotgun just seems to output damage um, quicker, and it also seems to be a little safer to use as well, so that's why I chose to use a shotgun. It's not as easy for the traps, which I'll show up here in the future here, but it is still good enough. So so it just once you get to this part, it's just, there's a pillar down here. You have ants. you got to kill this pretty quickly. It's not too hard. And there's rolly balls that start coming downstairs uh, towards you, so... Once you clear out the rolly balls that are downstairs, the most most of them, then you can jump down and then start defending down here. So the reason he took the sniper is because for the pillars and uh, for the king spiders. Where I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rush forward here and just try and defend him from all the rolly balls, and then he's going to stand around that corner back there, and you can barely see the pillar from around that corner back there. So it's kind of nice. You can kind of snipe it from far away from a safe distance. And there's a king spider out there, so you have to be careful because he will sometimes shoot through the walls. So that is something to be careful with, but not too bad. You could probably even do um, less health than what we had, but uh, we've just been mainly keeping our health around 7,000. Um, but like I said, you probably could do get away with a lot less health than that if you if you uh, needed to, because you just have to be a little bit more careful on certain phases. But uh, but not too bad anyway. So. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have looked around the corner there, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, he's he's got he's got it taken care of, and uh, I'm just gonna heal up here. Now the next room, there's a big trap. Uh, there's a big trap of uh, spider king spiders and little spiders. So what you want to do is you want to climb up here on this little this little hill here, and you can see the ants. You can just go ahead and shoot them from far away, and then go back to the cave you started from, and that'll that'll pull the trap. So you could be in a nice bottlenecked area for when you do fight the king spider. But it's not too bad. If you had the C-70s, which was a fun tactic for sure, it just wasn't as good for the end part, um, you could lay C-70s along the whole ground there, spread out, and then as soon as the spiders spawn and you watch the mini-map, you can see them all jump, like watch the mini-map right now, you can see all the spiders jump down, and once the last few of them jump down, you set the bombs off, and literally every time we were doing that, everything was dead except the king spider. It was pretty funny. But uh, it just wasn't as safe for the end part, so we, I just stuck with the D10. And it's fine. The D D110 is fine. As long as I stay to the right here, I kill the stuff nearby, and he, he stands back around that corner and uh, snipes the King Spider and kills the other far ones with his easy shotgun. It's not too bad. But yeah, now, so that's the first trap. Um, there'll be another trap up here soon. Um, with two Rangers, it's not as easy to get back to this cave. Usually. What you could do is if you have a wing diver or a fencer, you could have them go trigger the trap and then come back here. But uh, since we're rangers, it's just more simple to um, to push forward through the next trap, which I'll show here in a moment. We just have to finish this king spider. I actually wind up dying here, but it's no big deal. I can heal up here. Seems like the king spiders have a little bit more health than what I remember when the game first came out. I don't know if they if they um updated the health of the spiders or not. I never really tested it, so I don't know, but uh, it feels like they have a little bit more health, but I could be wrong. Also, it seems like the damage indicators on the enemies have been updated. Like, when I f the game first came out, I remember the, the enemies wouldn't show signs, the, the kings wouldn't show signs of damage until they are almost dead, but now it seems like it happens slowly over time, so it seems like they fixed that issue, but I'm not sure if they did anything else. Anyway, so we're just going to... Um, run forward. There's just some rolly balls that spawn once in a while, like seven or eight of them. Not too bad. We're just going to run up this hill and go to the next trap. So as two rangers and with our weapons, we're just going to push through the trap. So we're going to head to the top of the hill here, and then I'll show where the next uh, trap spawns based on where you're standing. So it's safe to come up here. So now here on the left side, there's a cave, and once you walk into this cave, then the next trap will spawn. A bunch of ants behind you. So instead of killing the ants behind us, we're just going to rush forward, and then there's going to kill some, there's like 15 ants up here you can kill quickly. 
Not too bad. And then we're just going to go and rush the pillar of the rolly balls. And then we'll turn around and fight the trap behind us. And it's it's, it's pretty easy um, because you can go around this corner behind the behind the pillar, and then the enemies will just trickle through instead of rushing through. So it's pretty simple. And then then after this is the end phase, the wall behind you opens up, and then the net the last phase is is the end phase. And like I said, on Inferno, the difference is the pillars will start spawning enemies as soon as you walk past a certain point which I'll show here in a moment whereas on hardest and lower they will not spawn until you attack the pillars so it makes it a lot easier because you can set up and you actually could walk into that big arena and you could set C70s around the pillars and then set them all off at once or you could just you know just be more prepared whereas on Inferno it's pretty tough because if you don't attack the pillars right away on Inferno the enemies will just keep coming after you and it's very tough to actually gain ground to get into that room to fight what you need to fight because there's walls covering the pillars. You can't just you know peek out and snipe them once in a while. So you actually have to go into the room. So it's a pretty cool mission because of that. But uh, I'll show you what we found works really well for rangers. And with Healing Bomb, it's more of a safety thing. I really didn't actually need them. I, only, I think I only used two Healing Bombs the whole time, which was kind of funny, but... Could have maybe take a different weapon, but, you know, it's just healing bomb is safer, of course. So now we're going to kill these spiders so we can save these guys, but don't want to touch those guys, because as soon as you walk up to where those guys are at, that's where the next uh, phase will spawn, or it'll start the next phase, so you don't want to do that. So what he's going to do is he's going to get right to the edge there and try and snipe those three ants in that corridor so it doesn't mess with us as we're running in there, because the ants will kind of, there's like three ants in there and they'll kind of run after you. So he killed them. Now I'm going to run forward. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run in the room and run to the left. And uh, the, mo the most danger is these rolly balls are coming down this hill right here. But other than that, it's not too bad. I do get knocked down, which is kind of unfortunate, but it's fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this first pillar with my shotgun. And then I'm going to hit the hit the ground with healing bomb as safety precaution to knock everyone away from me. And then hit run to this one and do the same thing. Jump shoot and then healing bomb and then I'm gonna run back to him. Now what he's doing the whole time is he's shooting the one on the right with his sniper because most of the enemies are chasing me. So he's he kills that pillar on the on the right side and now we have three pillars down out of the five. And uh, now we're going to defend the enemies that have spawned because once we clear these out there'll be a lot less and then we'll deal with the kings. What I was doing in some of the runs was I was actually killing the back pillars too with my shotgun but I was dying too many times because the king spiders get a chance to actually catch you by then if you try and do more than the two pillars. So it just wound up being safer for us to just run back here and then um, defend and kill the king spiders from here and then kill the last two the last two pillars. So so as long as I take the left two and he snipes the right one, it's pretty much pretty simple because you can catch up, you can get all the enemies down and there's not going to be too many enemies overwhelming you. One thing you have to be careful with is the King Spider will shoot through the wall on this map very, uh, quite quite often. So the safest place, believe it or not, is where I'm standing. I'm right here along this wall. If you go further back, he actually can shoot through the wall relatively easy. Whereas if you're up front more, like on this corner-ish area, it's a little safer. So something to keep in mind. But we've lost some runs where to where it's just a cheap shot through the wall and you just can't do anything about it because it hurts so much. Like right there, that's, that's an example of him shooting through the wall. But uh, like I said, up by that corner, it doesn't seem like they do that too often. We're just playing it safe and getting some healing back here because we didn't want to uh, die in a silly way at the end there because we had so much healing back there, might as well grab it. But yeah, once you kill these, there's three kings. Um, after that, it's just the two pillars left. Unfortunately, there's still rolly balls that'll spawn in or that'll that'll all come towards you but it's not it's not that many it's not a big deal and with his stringer doing like 13,000 burst damage on the king spiders it works out pretty well so yeah it, this mission is all about rushing so if you don't have two rangers then you know wing diver with the gung near sniper you can snipe two pillars or you can just take the rapier and rapier the two pillars that I did and then have someone else kill the one on the right as long as you rush together at this end phase and try and get there as fast as possible and kill three pillars, you'll be pretty much you'll be pretty good. So that's definitely the secret to this mission. 
But yeah, I, I love this D110 shotgun. It's it's probably might be the most gratifying weapon um, in this game, in my opinion, just because it's so wonderful. They gave Ranger just a huge, big blast burst weapon, um, and it, it shoots relatively quickly too. So it is nice. So now we're just gonna finish off these kings, and really not much to else to it. Um, I think. I think I rush in there and kill the two pillars just to be safe, but as you can see, they're a little dangerous, him shooting through the walls there, but it's not too bad up front. I'm not sure why they're able to shoot through the wall right there, but there's also some like plugs in there if you, if you look inside the big arena, because I was looking for places to hide in there earlier and some like walls you can shoot through, but it looks like there's some plugs that aim right at the... Um, pillars, but from what I could tell, it seemed like there's no place where you can get behind those plugged walls and shoot through them with, like, the Thunderbow or anything, so I'm not sure if there is a way to get to the pillars through by shooting through the wall with, like, a... Had to be, it would have to be Winged Diver's weapons, because the Flamethrower would definitely not reach, but, uh, like, the Thunder Sniper or the Thunderbow does shoot through those plugs, I believe, still, so that would be the way to do it. But I don't think you can get behind those walls. But yeah, I love this mission. It's pretty fun. So now I think we just have one king left. And... Oh well, yeah, for items I have the super speed. I'm not sure. I, I imagine... I, I think I said that. I'm not sure. But um, And he has the acceleration item, I think. It doesn't really matter necessarily. But I definitely need the super speed, super speed so I don't get slowed down by enemies fire and also I can get here in time fast enough. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show what we did for two rangers and uh, now we're just gonna run in there, finish the two pillars. I think that's, yeah, I think that's the last king. Yep, now I go in and just kill the pillars. But this thing is so strong you can just kill it with I think two shots up close. Because the C-70s, I was having to lay about four or five of them, because it'll reach the pillars if you lay them up here, you know, because it's a pretty big blast, but it just took longer to lay down C-70s than it did to shoot a shotgun, you know, three times, so it just made more sense to change to the shotgun, even though the first part's not as fun. But yeah, that's it, so once again, thanks a lot for watching, and remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And if you'd like to uh, help more people find the channel, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks.